So this is a simple tutorial showing how to add a camera shake in Maya. And I've done a, a simple piece of animation here. We've got a bus whizzing past Monty. Uh, Monty does a reaction to the bus. And the bus travels so close to us that we can add a little bit of a camera shake as the, as the compressed air pushed by the bus um, um, bumps the camera. And that will give us a little bit more kind of realism and um, uh, vitality to the shot. So let's go ahead and get started. It's a very simple thing to do. Um, I'm just going to go and um, uh, find my camera. So that's Windows Outliner. So uh, there's my minibus. There's my shot camera. And let's go ahead and make sure that cameras are turned on here in the viewport. So I want to make sure that cameras are uh, turned on, whether I put them in the new version of my. There we go, cameras. So the camera is now, should be now visible. Um, and we can see it there. Uh, I can see it's looking at the uh, the bus as it goes by. Let's make the camera a bit bigger. Uh, let's make it, uh, say, five times as big. Um, and actually, let's make sure that that scale is the same throughout the shot so that the camera is always five times as big. And I can see that the camera, the camera there is looking at, I've just got a gentle rotation in, um, in the Y rotation there as the camera follows, the shot camera follows Monty or follows the bus um, and then we see Monty's reaction at the end. So it's just a gentle moving camera. So the bus is going to pass us around about here. So this is where the air would hit the camera. So let's keyframe the camera at about 20 frame 21. And what we can do is just move the camera, let's say at 23, we can just move the camera up slightly. Let's make sure we see what we're doing in the in the shot camera view as well. So let's just move the camera up slightly. And then let's move the camera down slightly, like that. And then let's move the camera up slightly again. And then let's, three frames after that, I'm gonna have it go back to normal. Um, so let's just, uh, there we go. So that, so that was our rotation. That's, this is the curve that we've created. Um, there we go. So we've just created a little kind of a little kind of bump there on that on that camera. Um, let me just go and select it once again up there, and then let's just take a look at that curve. And um, what I'm going to do is. Um, Just keyframe it there and flatten that off. And that what what we're looking for is a kind of vibrate. So something something that looks kind of like that. There we go. Like a like a like a like a kind of vibration. Sort of um, down up down and settle. Something like that. That's the kind of thing we're after. Let's see what that looks like. There we go, something like that. So that's going to give us a little, um, a little feeling of of kind of rushing air, uh, and the camera operator is 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 having the camera, you know, is having to hold the camera still while wind um, pushes against the camera. Obviously, it's all fake. It's all digital. There's no real wind here but we're simulating what might happen if there was a, a real camera operator behind this camera. So there we go. So there's your curve, there's your camera shake, and something like that will do for this occasion.